Everybody, good day. Shane Head here. It's March 26, 2021. Coming to you today from Shreveport, Louisiana, we have a 2019 Tiburon ZX22 flats boat or bay boat. And of course, it's a center console configuration. Going to do a quick walk around, show you this nice boat that's available here at popyachts.com. For information or want to make an offer or set up a showing, call me at 903 two nine three three eight five one and without further ado this is a quick walk around on the 2019 tiburon zx22 flats boat so as you can see it's a dark brown almost black color scheme with a tan stripe the tiburon logo in full display this boat sits on a nice Aluminum Magic Tilt trailer does come with the boat. The trailer does include a spare. I'm going to give you an overview and then we'll zoom in on some of the other things. So this boat is equipped with the Suzuki DF450 four-stroke outboard engine. Has 54.58 hours on it as of this video's taping. Stainless steel prop does have a nice aluminum jacking plate, does come with a blade power pole, trim tabs. You can see the skeg is in great shape with a boat like this with the extremely shallow draft. The boat's not the motor's never been damaged, the prop is in great shape, no dings of any sort, no sun fading. The cowl cover, everything is just as shiny black and brand new looking as it can be. And of course, being a flats boat, you know, it's got a very shallow draft, so it's almost like a tunnel hole type design, but not quite, quite classified as a tunnel hole. I'll update the draft and the specs in the ad under specifications and dimensions. Your trim tabs, you do have a heavy duty tubular access step or swim, swim step, if you want to call it that. Bunks on the trailer look really good. You've got the raised trailer guide so you can see and easily back the trailer, even on steep incline ramps. A really great looking boat. And with a beam of eight foot six inches, this boat can handle choppy, rough water. The current owner says that he's gotten through some rough waters down in South Louisiana along the coast that he really didn't know this boat could handle. And he said it did quite, quite well. So uh, definitely great for getting in the shallows, jumping across the lagoons. But when you're out along the bay, like the bay the, uh, out in the bay or along the shoreline and the, and the road waters get a little choppy, you've got a nice wide beam and a very stable platform. Up here on the bow, if you want to call it a casting deck, looking deck, you've got your, your storage. You've got your long shaft Minn Kota iPilot, 18 pound thrust, trolling motor. Looking forward to the center console, you see your access under the console for your batteries, your battery switch, emergency kits. Up on top of the center console, the pole, the structure actually comes unscrewed and that windshield can even come, be taken off and you can stand on that for spot fishing. You have pop-up cleats all the way around. Two fuel tanks, both here on starboard side of the boat, or port side of the boat, rather. As you see that aluminum trailer, tires look great. No gouges, rubber looks fine. As we're looking in, you've got your cockpit seating with the fold-down footrest. So if you want to fold those up and use that as a leaning post, you can certainly do that. Both sides of starboard and port, you have three rocket launchers mounted on both sides of the center console. You've got console storage. Again, you've got your removable stern seating ice chest. Again, just a great looking boat. I would call this uh, in excellent shape for its age. Don't see any gouges in the in, in the hole whatsoever. A few little scrapes here on the rub rail, and that's what it's made for. 
as you can see, but the rub rail is still in fantastic shape. We'll get under here and let you take a look underneath the hole. As you can see, the bow is in great shape. No gouges, everything looks almost brand new. Small little rub right up here on the tip of the bow. That will probably mostly buff out. Probably a little dock rash there is all that that is. But again, it's not penetrated the gel coat. It's not gouged, it's just a scrape. So get a look here from the other side of the boat. Again, just a really neat find here in North Louisiana. We'll transition over to the interior and go over some of the features there. So guys, we are here up in the cockpit area looking looking forward from aft here in the 2019 Tiburon ZX22 flats boat. As you can see on the rear of the leaning post at the backrest, you have five rocket launchers. Beneath that, you have your aerated live well, very deep. Moving on up to the main cockpit area, you also have on port and starboard side of your center console, you have three rocket launchers on each side. You've got your Clarion audio speakers on both sides of your center console tower. You can remove the bars here. This is a console that's designed to be stepped up onto strong enough for you to stand on so you can spot fish from there as you can see the interior the seating's in great shape for your side-by-side -side seating with your flip-up seat which converts this and you have your feet foot rest let's go ahead and take a look at the center console here we'll go through the Garmin your Suzuki onboard computer that gives you all of your metrics for engine, RPM, fuel levels. Your, your, jack, your lift plate or jack plate indicator. Your power pole controls. Of course, your, your trim and forward reverse throttle. Your bilge, bait well, wash down, storage lights, courtesy lights, horn, everything located there. You've got your Clarion, Bluetooth, Sirius XM radio receiver. We'll go ahead and take the cover off of the Garmin. And we'll turn the key on here so we can get some power. And I'll show you everything that works on the Suzuki computer. Well, it comes online. And we'll verify engine hours. And I'll show you the fuel level in the boat. Very good electronics on this boat. While that's going through, you got your Garmin GPS XS. You've got your nav charts, your fishing charts, 3D charts. Go to your menu. You can rearrange everything. You can set waypoints on it. Let's go ahead and go to the nav charts. We're in a neighborhood, but you can see we're close to a lake. So you can see the lake showing up there. All your heading, your GPS speed, water depth, things like that. Of course, we're not in water right now. And we'll go ahead and enter through that. So right now you can see the boat showing uh, on the two tanks. We scroll through everything. There's your miles per hour, RPMs in digital format. There's your traditional tachometer that which will also show your, your depth. Your voltage, engine temperature. Your pressure, there's your engine hours currently as of today, which is March the 26th, 2021. It has 54.58, so basically 55 hours. Shows your fuel used. Anyway, each display has some redundancy in it. Of course, you've got your jack plate controls here. you got your suicide knob, stainless steel steering wheel. Go ahead and power that off. You've got your Minn Kota remote there. This is an iPilot, so it's a spot lock. Spot lock. You do have your uh, 
power outlet there as well. Your two gas tank fill-ups. That's your large storage locker up here on the bow of the boat. You can put more water in that if you wanted to. Another storage locker. You got the long shaft Minn Kota. This is the uh, GPS enabled 80 pound thrust Reptide version. You have the pop up cleats. And you can see the gunnels are textured so you can stand on them. You have the same texture on the rest of the decking of the boat. Again, really wide beam, eight foot six, eight foot six inches. So a lot of, a lot of stability, even in rough waters. As we look to the other side of the console, you can see those repetitive rocket launchers we talked about. Up here in the front of the center console, you have your batteries, your battery switch, and of course all access to electronics. You have your four batteries in here, your emergency kit, easy ex easily accessible. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this battery switch back off. All the compartments have lockdowns. Again, if we move to the rear of the boat, you get another shot of the condition of the seats. Again, in great shape. You do have cup holders here in the center console. Here on the rear of the seating, you have cup holders on both sides. The transom seating, you have a removable dual purpose bison cooler with top on it. So you can sit there or you can move that up. On both port and starboard side of the boat, you have access for your uh, uh, bilge, uh, your control for your power pole, hydraulics, everything's right there. Just got through rinsing it out. Everything's in great shape there. Again, looking back at the 150 Suzuki four-stroke, you have your single power pole. And on the other side, you have your other bilge access. Heavy duty, if you want to call it a swim ladder, an access ladder, tubular. Looks like it's powder coated and matched to the boat. You can see the jacking plate. Everything back here just looks almost brand new. Boat's been well taken care of. So again, we'll give you a quick overview. Looking forward. It's a 2019. Tiburon ZX-22 flats boat slash bay boat slash center console. You can check it out at popyachts.com or call me, Shane Head, at 903-293-3851. Thanks for looking.